Vincenzo Fapa, born in Bagnolo Mella in 1427, was an Italian painter during the Renaissance period. He passed away in 1515 in his hometown. Fapa was a highly esteemed and influential painter during his time, and is considered to be the preeminent leader of the early Lombard school. His works demonstrate a unique combination of the Gothic and early Renaissance styles. He spent his career working for the Sforza family, Dukes of Milan, in Pavia, as well as various other patrons throughout Lombardy and Liguria. His work had a significant impact on the development of Renaissance art in northern Italy. Although only a few of Fapa's works have survived, we know that he was highly regarded for his frescoes and altarpieces. His most famous work, the frescoes in the Oratorio della Passione in Milan, was exceptionally well received during its time. Today, he is recognized as a pioneer who pushed the boundaries of art during the early Renaissance period. Vincenzo Fapa's early life remains somewhat of a mystery. Born in Brescia, Italy, at a time when the art scene in the region was lacking, Fapa likely had to leave Brescia to receive artistic training elsewhere. It is possible that he was directly apprenticed to Jacopo Bellini, as Bellini's work had a strong influence on Fapa. However, other historians suggest that Fapa may have had early training in Padua with Francesco Squarcian, though his earliest works are stylistically reminiscent of Pisanello and Gentile de Fabriano. Regardless, it is most likely that Fapa went to Verona for his training. In his early career, Fapa created several notable works, including The Young Cicero Reading and Virgin and Child, both of which showcase his talent for painting portraits of both individuals and religious depictions. Later in his career, Fapa created the Botticella altarpiece, which demonstrates his attention to detail and use of color and shading to create depth and emotion. Fapa's artistry was recognized during his life, and he was commissioned to create several altarpieces and portraits for churches and noble families throughout Lombardy. His works heavily influenced artists of his time, including the likes of Leonardo da Vinci and Andrea Mantegna. In the centuries following his death, Fapa's contributions to art have continued to be celebrated, with his art displayed in museums and galleries around the world. In conclusion, Vincenzo Fapa was a highly esteemed and influential Italian painter during the Renaissance period. His unique combination of the Gothic and early Renaissance styles had a significant impact on the development of art in northern Italy. Despite the limited number of his surviving works, Fapa's frescoes and altarpieces were highly regarded during his time, particularly his renowned frescoes in the Oratorio della Passione in Milan. His early life remains somewhat of a mystery, but it is clear that he received training elsewhere before establishing himself in Brescia. Fapa's talent for painting portraits and religious depictions is evident in his notable works, such as The Young Cicero Reading and Virgin and Child. His attention to detail, skilled use of color and shading, and influence on other prominent artists of his time, including Leonardo da Vinci and Andrea Mantegna, solidify his legacy as a pioneer of the early Renaissance period. Today, Fapa's contributions to art continue to be celebrated, with his works displayed in museums and galleries worldwide.